What's going on guys, it's Tracky here and welcome back to another Texas Rangers Fantasy Draft Franchise. So taking a look at game two of the ALDS, since we did not play that game, we did simulate. Uh, I'm just going to let you guys go ahead and look at the numbers if you want to see them. I'm not going to really re uh, read them off that much. So um, the things that really stand out are definitely Jan Gomes, who's hitting 857 through two games. And, uh, you know, uh, Prince Fielder, who is, uh, I believe, hitless. Um, so, and then obviously Trout, uh, has been very solid as well. The Anthony Rendon, you know, pretty much everybody has just been very solid. So, uh, we did win game two against the Royals, five to three. Um, looking at the bracket there, if we do, um, <clears throat> win this series, we will be going on to face either the Red Sox or the Orioles. And then, uh, hypothetically speaking, uh, we go to win the uh, ALCS and move on to the World Series. It will be either the Rockies or Phillies. And uh, I don't think hypothetically was the right word there. Anyway, uh, game two, or sorry, game three of the ALDS. Uh, the Rangers lead two to zero. We will be heading into uh, Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri, to uh, take on the Royals. So. <clears throat> As you can see, game one was a 11-1 uh, blowout. Game two was 5-3. to three. Pretty decent game. Uh, Gonzalez and Blevins are the two winning pitchers. Um, and today, Big Mike, Michael Pineda, will be on the mound. Um, he was uh, second or third in the running for uh, the Cy Young Award. Uh, he did have 18 wins this season with 10 losses. Struck out... Um, in the 220s, somewhere in the 220s, I don't know the exact number, but uh, very, very, very solid. So he'll uh, be getting the ball today, and um, hopefully he can uh, go out and you know pitch uh, pitch well. You know uh, that that's what we need. So uh, ALDS game three, um, Rangers looking to get the sweep. So gonna go ahead and look at their lineup. Uh, Dyson, Rendon, Trout, Cruz, Fielder, Gomes, Vicedo, Ka, and Simeon. Uh, Vicedo and Fielder hitless thus far in the postseason through two games. So, nothing to freak out on really at all. Uh, on the mound today for the Royals, Brett Anderson, who was 14-8 and with 335 ERA, 70 earned, and 138 strikeouts in the regular season. So, definitely not a bad season for him at all. Looks like maybe he got, uh, well, no, probably not. He probably didn't get called up. <clears throat> Um, and looking at the Royals lineup, they have Jose Altuve, Mariano Reyes, Jose Abreu, Lucas Tudor, J.D. Martinez, Jacoby Ellsbury, Chris Johnson, um, Carlos, I don't know how to say his last name. So, anyway, Big Mike on the mound, 18-10, 320 ERA, 75 earned, 219 strikeouts. So, uh, had that ERA been lower, he definitely should have won the Cy Young. But, you know, he pitched extremely well this season. So, uh... Let's let's hope that he can continue to do that, and uh, he is going to at least do that for the first batter. Jose Altuve will go down swinging. Uh, a nice strike out there for Michael Pineda. Uh, you can see his locations uh, kind of painting the corners. So um, you know if you continue to do that, your pitch count will go up a little bit because you got to get some like first pitch ground outs and whatnot. So anyway, Jan Gomes here uh, in the uh, Top of the second with just a rip. Uh, finds the gap, and he will glide in there for a double. So, Jan Gomes has been extremely, extremely well for us. Uh, you know, the second half of the season for sure, and uh, heading into the playoffs here through these first two games. Um, and there would be a uh, fly out to left, and uh, that would end the inning. But uh, two hits. Um for the Rangers thus far, and uh, one hit for the Royals. So, uh, Michael Pineda here in the bottom of the second 0-2 count. That's going to be another strikeout for him. And uh, here we are again, still in the bottom of the second, and another strikeout for Pineda. So, I believe he's uh, working with three to four strikeouts already through uh, two. Uh, this time, Chris Johnson goes down swinging. And uh, the game remains at 0-0. Uh, zero, zero scoreless and uh, Anthony Rendon's gonna stand here and look to maybe uh, you know kind of get the Rangers going and uh, he is going to 
get a two out single um, so hopefully he can uh, you know get home and trout here he drives this one drives it that will find the gap and Rendon not a slow guy will score from first and trout will be in there with a RBI double so the Rangers do jump ahead one to nothing uh, moving on to the bottom of the third here big Mike continuing to uh, you know be strong uh, Michael Pineda definitely uh, going out here and trying to uh, finish off the sweep today for these guys you know we kinda wanna get out of there and have some time to rest um, heading on to face either the Orioles or Red Sox so here, ground rule double for Brandon Crawford. We'll bring Jose Altuve up, a pretty decent hitter, and he's going to slap this one into right field. Uh, and that will be enough to score Crawford. The bad throw by Dyson. Well, the throw is offline by Dyson. And uh, really won't even have a chance. So Altuve, RBI double there, I believe. RBI single, RBI double. I think it was a single. And uh, here, Pineda gets uh, is that, uh, Abreu. I think it was Abreu to uh you know nice little swing bump there get out uh here Jan Gomes continuing to be good just a nice solid base hit um up the middle and you know enough of those will score you some runs so Diane Viciato here looking for his first hit and he gets it that will go up the left field line uh for a single Jan Gomes will cruise in the second and bring up the Phil, uh, uh Philip Kyle the rookie sensation who will send this back up the middle and uh, Jan Gomes is going to hold at third, so base is loaded. <clears throat> we'll bring up the shortstop, Marcus Simeon. Uh, he's going to stand in here looking for something to hit. First pitch he sees, he is going to ground into a double play. He will get, uh, well, he will drive in one run. Uh, no, he won't. Never mind. Sorry, I thought, never mind. He doesn't. No, nothing at all. So, base is loaded. Um, and we are not able to get anything out of it. So, um, as you can see there, eight hits and we've only scored run, one run. The Royals actually did tie it up last inning. But here, uh, I believe this is Dyson. He's going to send this one um, towards the gap. It'll get cut off, but uh, some uh, bad handling out there, and it will result in a triple. So, you know, with a guy like Dyson with his speed, you don't really want to, you know, have those problems and here Rendon gets this one deep enough to uh, score Dyson that's gonna just score him by a mile um, <clears throat> I don't really know anybody that can make a throw to you know get Dyson out at that you know from that deep so anyway Nelson Cruz stands in here 0 one count and that's a rip that's gonna you know I thought maybe it had a chance to get out but it's gonna fall down right in front of the warring track bounce off the wall and Cruz will be in there with a double so uh, the Rangers um, are now, you know, up one run with Prince Fielder standing in, still looking for his first hit, and unfortunately that's not going to come right here. So that will be the last out of that inning. Um, so moving into the bottom of the fifth, it is uh, two to one Rangers, and uh, Michael Pineda. Is going to keep it that way. Nice little strike out there on Brandon Crawford. Uh, will he, he just continues his dominance. Uh, throwing a three hitter through five. Um, the Rangers could uh, definitely give him some more support. They, you know, they do have, uh, they are up one right now, but, uh, you know, they'd like to keep that going. And, uh, or, sorry, Vicieto, um is going to, you know, get his second hit of this, uh, the playoffs. Um, here with a gapper into right center and uh, now Philip Kaw the rookie sensation uh, he's gonna send this one the other way just out of diving reach of Altuve and that will put runners on the corners uh, and Marcus Simeon the shortstop um, or sorry no 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 he's not up yet they're gonna go ahead and make a pitching change here uh, so that will be the end of the line for uh, Chris Anderson Brett Anderson is, is one of those I'm pretty sure so that'll bring in Lewis Coleman uh, he's been in one game in the playoffs uh, he's got a 9 ERA so he basically gave up one run I'm going to assume oh not two innings uh, and one strikeout so definitely probably not you know what they want out of him so Marcus Simeon anyway he'll be up here 
See, uh, sees the one-two pitch. He's going to ground it to third base and ground into another double play. So two times now, Simeon has a, had a, a runner or runners in uh, scoring position and has not delivered. So top of the seventh, Dyson looking to uh, you know still help Pineda out because it's only one run from tying the game. And he sends this one back up the middle. And uh, you know with Dyson's speed, we're probably going to look to steal second. And uh, he did do that. I, I guess I didn't put it in here. But uh, Cruz with a rip. This is going to find the gap. Uh, well, going to get cut off. So Cruz will be in there with a single, but Dyson easily scores from second. So that is now going to make the ball game 3-1. to one. Prince Fielder standing in, still looking for his first hit. And there it is. A nice um, you know, return to Cinder, I guess. Right back up the middle. And uh, that is very, very good. Uh, you know, Fielder's a guy you definitely want to get hitting. And uh, Jan Gomes, a guy that's been on fire here, just just got unlucky there. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Rangers pick up another run uh, that inning. So it's 3-1, to one, um, heading into the bottom of the seventh. And Pineda has been very solid all day and uh, continues to do that. Another strikeout for him there. And uh, once again... Strikeout. Jacoby Ellsbury looks at it. So, um, you know, at this point, I think there's a good chance, um, you know, that we're going to be able to, to finish these guys off. But you don't want to get your hopes up. Uh, top of the eighth. Uh, Vicieto with a rip in the center. Uh, Vicieto and Penny look the same to me because they're both, like, huge. But, um, anyway, uh, Philip Kyle, he's going to stand in here. Uh, MLB's a little, uh, what is it? I think it's like dynamic shadows or whatever, kind of messing up there. <laughs> uh, this, this is actually really annoying when they do it. Here, Here's what it was supposed to look like. And uh, Marcus Simeon finally gets a hit today. Uh, he's been better than that. And um, that'll actually be an RBI single for Simeon. Uh, as Viciato will make it home, surprisingly. There's been a lot of times that those guys have not made it home. And uh, that'll bring in Tommy Hunter, who uh, this will be his second game. He pitched uh, two-thirds of an inning the last time he was here, and uh, he's immediately going to give up a hit to Dyson, which will load the bases. No, it won't. Oh, yep, yep, it will. Uh, not a, I, didn't, I decided to make a good decision. Um, oh, man, I just had a voice crack. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, but I made a good decision this time instead of sending a runner home. Uh, and Rendon uh, does... Uh, get the sack fly to score one more run. You know, as they won't even throw home, so Philip Kyle, the rookie sensation, makes it home. So that makes the game five to one in the top of the eighth. Runners on second and third, and Cruz with a rip will easily clear the bases. So a uh, little base running trouble for me there, but uh, the runners both do get home. So. Um, yeah, Prince Fielder uh, finally got his first hit, looking to get his second hit with two outs, and, uh, well, that one was hit hard. I thought it had a chance to get out, but I guess it just died. So, Fielder uh, did get his first hit, but he is not going to get his second hit today. Uh, we do have 20 hits uh, this game, so 7-1, to one, moving into the bottom of the eighth. I think uh, our chances are looking even better at moving on to the ALCS. Um, as Brandon Crawford strikes out there. So, as you can see, Brett Anderson only went uh, five and a third today, gave up two and 12 hits, and Pineda still going strong, only one earned and four hits. So, Mariano Reyes in the bottom of the ninth here, Pineda out to finish the game, only throwing 85 pitches. Uh, this is, um, you know, it's it's going to be, it's going to be interesting, uh, you know. Uh, we do have, uh, I believe, the rest of the game live here. No cuts or anything. So, uh, Reyes flies out to deep right center there. Um, and now Michael Pineda working on Jose Abreu, kind of the heart of the lineup here. Uh, first one misses outside for a ball. The second one misses up high and away for another ball. So, Pineda trying to zone in here and finish this game off. Cutter hits down and uh, pretty much in the middle of the plate. And this one is down. And uh, now moving to my favorite spot to strike people out. And uh, 
a birdie with a good eye there and uh, a little luck on the call. And uh, here he swings on this one and will send it into left field. And Viciato will be there to make the play. Two outs. One out away from moving on to the ALCS and sweeping the Royals. Uh, last year the Royals did uh, sweep uh, both the ALS, DS and CS teams. Um, so maybe uh, the Rangers can keep that going. So Lucas Duda will stand in here. He is going to be the, the uh, last chance for the Royals. Pineda starts them off with uh, one strike there. Two strikes there. One more pitch. Pineda's getting tired, but it doesn't matter. Um, he's He's got adrenaline going. He's trying to get his team into the ALCS. And he does. Simeon will make a routine ground ball play. And the Texas Rangers move on to the ALCS. They will be facing the Baltimore Orioles. So... Um, just an absolutely just, we just, just, I mean, there was no competition the whole time. The first game we blew them out 11 to 1. Today we blew them out, I believe, 10 to 1. And, uh, you know, 9, 10 to 1, something like that. The, you know, the Royals never really had a chance. You know, our pitching was dominant. Uh, only two runs given up in the first and third game. And, uh, two in the second game. So, or sorry, three. But, um... Yeah, great win today by the uh, Rangers. Michael Pineda does get player of the game. Throws a four-hitter, nine innings, nine strikeouts, one earned. Nobody more deserving, honestly. Um, you know, because you can hit as many home runs as you want, but if your pitcher gives up 30 runs, none of it matters. So, um, like I've said a million times, great win by the Rangers. We will be moving on to face the Baltimore Orioles in the ALCS uh, in the next video. So make sure you guys come back tomorrow. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, very, very happy. And uh, I don't know if I already said this, but the way I'm doing the playoff format is I'm playing uh, all the odd games. So 1, 3, 5, and 7 will be for the next two series. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, <sighs> it's kind of kind of awesome. Hopefully we can uh, you know make it all the way to the World Series. Anyway, uh, we'll be taking on the Royals or the Red Sox, and it will be the Orioles. So it's been track, you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.